Now we're going to add an athletic stance or bend over in our golf stance and perform a push pull. Let's get down into your golf stance and push pull. This is the third exercise in the series push pull, learning how to keep your arms straight in the backswing. If you haven't seen the previous ones, here's a link to a playlist here. It's also in the comments. So on this next exercise, or on the previous ones, we did a push-pull standing straight. We did a push-pull with a turn. Now we're going to add an athletic stance or bend over in our golf stance and perform a push-pull. Let's get down into your golf stance and push-pull. Come up and make sure you're in the right location. I want you to let your head turn on this one. Uh, some problems come in when you try to keep your head straight. So I want you to let your head turn and watch your arms as you're turning to make sure that they're doing as expected. So just get down into your stance. Turn and push pull. Again, it's the same position at the top. Your lead arm is straight. Your lead wrist is flat, fully cocked. Your trail arm is out off your chest, but it's tucked in. Your trail wrist is fully hinged. That's the position you're looking for at the top. Again, let your head turn with it. I want you to watch your hands as you're turning. Just push pull. A athlete, athletic turn with head uh, zero through 25. Okay, it's that time to do our drills for this exercise. Let's get down into our stance. Just turn and let our head turn along with us. One, two, three, four. Five. Oh, forgot to reset it. And we're going to come back to our stance here so we can double check our arms. But the reason we're turning our head is so we can watch our arms all the way through the back. One, two, three, four. Five. Remember when we come back, our arms should be in front of our chest, not over here. Your arms have somehow drifted out to here. Uh, you've made an error. Your arms should be in front of your chest. One, two, 
two. Three, four, five, remember this arm should be straight, not locked out. One, two, three, four. Five. Remember, when you get to the top, it's okay to relax your arms once you finish at the top. You don't want to really hold this tension as you're doing the downswing. Push pull is for the backswing to get you into the top position. One, two, three, four. Five. Remember, the purpose of the backswing is to get you into a specific position at the top of the backswing. That's it. One. Two, three, four, five. Remember to keep the arms in front of the body. It's important that you do that little turn back to your starting position so you can look at your arms and see where they're at. One. Two. Three, four, five. Remember, this arm just comes straight. It's just a little push with that arm, and then you pull with your trail arm. Just just to give it a little resistance.
one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Almost halfway there. One, two, three. Four, five, again, we're turning our head. We're just focused on keeping our arms in front of our chest and letting your head turn with it will help you and able to get that down. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. Off their bug. Um, yeah, we're still turning and we're still watching it. About now it's starting to get a little boring. That's good. Uh, about now, though, you're also starting to zone it in uh, where you're being able to do it without thinking about it. So these repetitions count. One, two, three, four. Five. Of course, the purpose of standing back up straight is you remove these angles and you can see what's actually going on. Uh, a lot of the misconceptions of golf are because people try to analyze uh, golfers from an, when they're bent over at these weird angles and you can't really tell what's going on.
one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Again, the point is to keep your arms straight, but not locked out on the elbow. Uh, when you've got something to push against, your arm knows how to straighten it out. But when you don't have something to push against, uh, you're going to just lock out that arm. One, two, three, four. Five. So it should be getting a little boring by now. That's good. It means you're getting the move down. But go ahead and do the 100. Don't cheat yourself. One. Two, three, four, up, oh, bad start. Five. And that's 75. One. Two. Three, four, five, Whew. should be getting tired by now, or at least uh, bored. I hope so. That means you're learning it. Again, it's just simple push and pull, not complicated. One, two, Three, four, five. Now you get comfortable with the order to do the push and pull with. I actually push a little bit before I pull. Uh, make sure that arm gets good and straight, but. Work it out for yourself. That's what actually the earlier drills are for. The very first drill here, 
is to learn that arm movement, which you should do first. So if you're not really comfortable with that, go back, redo that early one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ninety. Almost home. Hopefully you should have it down by now, which means do some more. Always do more than you have to to get it down. One. Two. Three. Four, five. You know, this is not a race. We're doing it slow so you learn the move. Uh, you can practice it, uh, speeding up your tempo a little later after you've got the move down. One, two, three, four. Five. And that is 100. Doesn't take that long. Uh, it's worth it to drill this in. Don't cheat yourself by not drilling in these exercises by doing at least 100. And if you don't feel like you've got it after 100, do 100 more. I mean, how long did this take? What, 15 minutes? You could do that.